Hello everyone, welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It is Francesco here, and in today's video, we are passing over to Joel. Joel's a good friend of mine. He is doing a video today about how he's used Notion as a task management application. He used it in the past, I believe, but he actually developed a similar sort of uh, methodology to Todoist, in a sense, using it as this task manager in a database. He actually used the views as ways to filter. So I'm going to actually pass over to Joel, who did a lovely loom for me, and uh, he will be diving into that exact topic. So thanks very much to Joel. I'll include his Twitter and his new podcast, which I was very lucky to be a part of in the description below. But if you obviously, if you're new to Notion, check out the course as well below. But guys, I'll leave it all to Joel because I pretty appreciate him coming on. Anyway, guys, thanks so much, and I'll see you in a future video. Over to Joel. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to my personal Notion account. I got the possibility through Francesco to show you around my place a bit, and in particular show you how I make and use Notion as a daily to-do list. Full disclaimer first, so I was not using Notion all the time as a task manager, I was basically trying everything from bullet journaling to even OmniFocus at a time, things three to do it. And for some reason, everything was almost too complicated for what I needed it. I used a lot of filters in Todoist, a lot of tags in um, things three, and um, OmniFocus in general was very complicated. So I decided to strip down, try the bullet journal method a bit, which did work in the end, but it was still a book you have to physically carry around. And I then discovered Notion about 18, maybe 19 months ago. And I decided, hey, maybe I can do a bullet journal in a digital format. And this did not work out as planned. However, I stuck with it and now use it as my daily to-do list and place on my laptop where I basically dump everything in here. And as you can see, we are here in my HQ, which is how I like to call it. And this is my personal place where I have everything from uh, live stuff like to do, which we will go into not right now or just in a minute. A notebook where I share and save a lot of notes I take throughout the day, what ideas I have. A web clipper, of course, with the additional web clipper, we get a pretty cool um, database which I can use on a daily basis as well and which really helps as my job um, from basically the morning until I go to bed in the evening I do save a lot of stuff in here also do delete a lot of stuff and to just physically have that place where you brain dump stuff is great I also have a health dashboard which I'm currently building out I do have a google sheet where I enter all of my stuff things I ate um, how long did I sleep? What kind of mood did I wake up? Um, but for some reason, the embed feature does not work properly right now with Google Sheets. So if I go in there, it's just a link to that spreadsheet. And um, when it will work again, then I'll probably get back to it and build it out right in a database in here. I used to have it in here. Then I thought it was better to take it over to Google Sheets because I can play around with all the uh, formulas and stuff because I was just too lazy to do it in here, really. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely bring that one back in there. Then on the right side here, I have cues or lines for all of you Americans out there. And I do save a lot of stuff like book lists, movie lists, and TV series lists. So I go into my book lists. Um, this is stuff I am currently reading or I want to read or I have read. So I should update this list, I feel like, but at least to have a place where I can dump stuff and always get back to it if I want to read something is. Pretty cool, I think. Uh, the same goes with movie lists and TV series lists. I'm a big movie nerd, so I want to keep track of what I've watched and what's coming out soon. Down there's some boring stuff like uh, places. It's just one I created. I like to save places on the earth I've been to and see where else I might want to go to. And stuff like traveling, if I go in there, I create these kind of uh, travel pages, which is just a simple template button I created here. And yeah, let's go into the San Francisco one. If I go into this one, you'll see stuff like which flight to take, um, 
where you're staying at, what the thing is all about. And that is a pretty cool thing if you travel to always have something handy and uh, stuff like door codes, for example, if you enter into an Airbnb, just have something in your Notion account to check it. It's brilliant. Um, and some links as well. So I had sometimes, if I'm really eager, create boards uh, like San Francisco things to do, for example, just links I pick out and coffee shops and stuff I want to visit. Uh, we didn't end up visiting that one at all, but at least we have it documented, right? And one which is actually a public one, and I picked that up off the Notion templates um, page is the San Francisco Cafes one, which I found pretty handy, and I'll definitely keep that one in there. But let's go back to the HQ. What else do I have? Public stuff like uh, imprint and privacy policy, which I have here for my personal website. Didn't ha I didn't want to create another site, so I thought, why not paste the Notion link? And it works pretty great. Uh, groceries lists, uh, housekeeping, which is always stuff to do. Um, so far, I'm pretty good with it, but if anything comes up, I'll dump it here. And just a little archive to move all the sites over or maybe stuff like all of my to-dos from the past couple of months, which are in there. Um, and just a place to have them. Occasionally, I will delete the page and create a new one, but at least I have something where I can get into and see what I've done. Okay. Let's go into my to do. So I do keep it pretty simple. So I'm not a big guy of uh, tags. Uh, I'm definitely not a GTD guy. I'm mostly a pick up your way and just do it guy. I don't really follow a system. So I just figured out the system I have here on my own. And I occasionally picked up some inspirations like the last notion tool Francesco just gave and um, build my stuff from there. The one thing I like to do with my to-do list is I always like to have a overview of my week. So my week starts on a Sunday and I always have a theme for each day. Within my company, we work vertically. So we always work from top to bottom. We are generally not very good at having Kanban boards. We prefer having tables and then work in them and plan out our weeks. And I actually like to do the same here, even though this is a board, I know, um, I like to sort of fill all the gaps in the days and see what I would do. Paired with my Google Calendar, I can then also check how much time I have left for a task or which time block is the best to work on my highlight of the day, for example. There's one thing I picked up in the book, Make Time. And this is the easiest way for me to implement that. So as you can see, I just created a board and uh, basically each group or column, I think they call them, a group, yeah. I just named them throughout the day. So from uh, Sunday to Saturday, that is one column, represents one day. And within there, if I then open up one card, which if you can see, record Notion setup, has a couple of assets. So most importantly, the group, which is given. Then I have created one of those um, tag functions and I'm keeping it pretty clear. So I have clients for client work, intern for internal work, setting up ads, setting up new landing pages, whatever, uh, private for private stuff, going out with friends, eating dinner, whatever, um, habits, making your bed in the morning, um, picking up the post at the post office, whatever. And fun if there's something up to which doesn't really fit in there or in there, but still is in a private site. And then last but not least, one of those check marks where you can just check off if the task is recorded. And I can actually, if I would go into the deadline, also check this one off. And what I like to do is I like to get a reminder when the task is due. So for example, this one, record Notion setup, I do record it a bit earlier than 7 p.m. 6 p.m. now but um yeah i just like to have that reminder in there to get that on my mobile phone and then uh, go from there but the way it works if i would now record the notion setup i would of course take it off it's done or i'm in the midst of doing it and once it's definitely done i will then go in there and take out the reminder here so that I don't get like that notification, even though if I would do it later on or if it would be due later on, I just know it's done and busted. And the way I have set up this to do list is pretty simple. It will take a while probably now until it's 7 p.m. But once the time is due on the task, so let's say it's 7 or 1 today, this card will disappear 
and I will have nothing left on Monday to do. Great. The same thing then goes with tomorrow and the rest of the week. So I will always see tasks which are up to here. And if I do them a bit earlier, great. I go out of it and uh, go my happy married way. The way I do that is pretty simple. I just filtered my deadline or the date, if you want to say so. And it's within the next week. And I have found it to be the best way if I do that. It's those seven days I'm currently stuck in. Uh, it doesn't really reflect all the days I'm in. But I mean, I don't want to change the groups each day to fit those seven days. Um, if those seven days have passed and that event was in the past, I will then remove it by this filter and I don't have to go in here now and take the card and move it somewhere. But this is not the only view I have. So this is a Kanban view and this is where I pretty much mostly work on. I also have different views. Let me just make myself a bit smaller then so I can see everything. So this week all is probably the one view I have on a regular basis. Then this week all as a calendar view is one which I very rarely use. Um, I just like to have it if I have a lot of tasks in there. Now I don't have. But if I do have, then I like to have them all spread out here and see more info than what I would need. What I then like to do is I like to create different views for future events. So example, for example, next week, I don't have anything planned on here yet. But if I would, I would see each task I have within the next days. And I can check that with my Google Calendar and see what I need to do. I have set up this one as a filter. Again, deadline, which is my date, is after one week from now. Um, I think I could also go into this week all, like the first view you saw and put that filter on, but for some reason it still keeps the task because they're there and I want them to be disappearing. Then there are some other filters like past events this week, past events this month, past events this uh, year. Those are all tables. And um, I also like to differentiate between work and personal events in a table view. Let's just go into the work events. They're not biggie. Um, I deleted a couple of them before, but you'll see I, at the end of the week, will go in here, see what I have accomplished, see what I have moved, which you can see in the page log or in the log of each card, and then get a good view of how successful my week was in terms of setting up my tasks. But it shouldn't only be a, a showcase of how I actually use Notion in here. I also want to give you something and show you how easy you can actually build this kind of system. And I also want to show you how easy you could build it a bit differently. There are two ways of doing it this way, I would say. So let's go into HQ and create a new page. So page, let's call it to do. I always like to add an icon. Let's go for the random one. Uh, oh, maybe not. OK, let's just now I'm picking and choosing. And OK, let's take the phone and add a cover. Uh, I always like to go into Unsplash. Maybe we'll see something cool. Yeah, let's go with this one. Why not? And then let's go into the page. The first thing I always do if I create a page, I like the serif font. So I'm not a big fan of like the main default font. So that's just about that's like a little a small design thing I like to do. The next thing I then do because I'm going to create a table is I'm going to set the page to full width. And then I'm once in once I'm in the page, I go into inline and I generally like to start with an inline board. So it just creates a natural Kanban board and I always do an enter space. So I don't like to have a word in here and I also always delete the first three uh, cards in there. So the first thing I always do is no status. I will hide that. You could use it as an inbox, but I don't really like to. I never I was never a big fan of an inbox or a user of an inbox. So that's pretty, pretty useless. And the one thing I would like to show you how to set up this to do list in this Kanban and then different table view is to either go by day, like you've seen in my case, or you can use one group as a category for whatever you do. So let's go with this one. Let's say this is work. I always like to write everything in upcase. Uh, let's go this one for, um, oh, you know what? Let's go for intern and let's go for clients. Oh. There's an S missing. Clients. There we go. Uh, in turn, let's go for uh, private. 
And let's go for recurring. Maybe you have recurring tasks, which I know at the minute are not the best thing to have in Notion, but I will show you a way around that. So great, we have a structure set up. We know we work in these four different projects essentially, and now it's time to add tasks, right? Not so fast, man. The first thing we will do is we will create cards and we need to set the properties. So state this is pretty much given. I like to change the name to project and a sign is also given and I always like to change that to date. And there we go. Another property I like then to add could be the multi-select. Let's say we create uh, categories. Uh, yeah, let's keep it this way. And then let's go to stuff like um, uh, what would be a good fit um, to do, doing, done. This is really cheap, I know. But I just want to give you sort of a feel what you can do with each property. And the most important one at the end is the uh, checkbox, which we will call done, question mark. And of course, once it's done, we can then go from there. So we have set up all the properties. I then like to go in and uh, see the category state and the checkbox. So I don't need to see the projects because I see it within which project it is, but at least I get a sense of that. And yeah, let's just go for one in client um, finish um, contact site. Cool. I don't want that. So this is one which I need to finish for a theoretical client now. And let's say I need to finish that on Wednesday. And I know that I would have time at 10 a.m. Really important. Don't forget the reminder. I always like to have it at the time of the event. Some people like to have it before, whatever suits best for you. So now this, is, this task is set up and I know that it is planned, so it needs to be done. I'm not doing it currently. Cool. I can see what kind of task it is. I can see in which project I need to do it. And if I now do this uh, from each project, I will get a pretty deep view of how my week is going to look like. Cool. This is like the basement here for all of my to-dos. But... Uh, the thing you would probably be able to do in Todoist, let's say, is you could go into one group and then see what's up within the next seven days. From tomorrow on, you could even set a filter and only see like important tasks in there. So how should you do that in Notion? Pretty simple. Just use the views and filters to generate some sort of table. So I do want to generate a table and I will call this client work. And if I go in there now, because I only added one task, it looks like I have all of my client work in there. But I like to do a couple of things. So I like to check the box in front, like a proper task. Um, I always like to really get in there with like the spacing of it, how it looks like, categories as well. And now I need to set a filter to filter out all the tasks which are client related. And that's pretty easy in Notion. So I go into the filter section and add a filter based on the project. Project is client, or clients in this case. And I also like to add a sort by date or due date. There we go. And I think I always have it on descending. This is one, like, one of those English words for me, which just always hard to remember what it's what. But I think it's on date descending. And if not, then you just change it to ascending. So that is great. I can have like an overall view, which I would like to change. Uh, let's call this uh, week view. And this is like my top of the line view. I can see everything from here. And then I like to go in to create different views. So let's just create one like a clean, clean kitchen. And let's do this for uh, tomorrow at let's say 7 p.m. and remind me at the event. And this is definitely a to-do one. Uh, so we also have a private event now because now I also want to do the same thing as I did with client work with a private one. And this is something I feel like a lot of people don't know in Notion. If you want to duplicate, du duplicate a view, you don't actually have to add a view and then go in there and change out all the layouts and stuff. No, you can just go to these three little dots, go down to duplicate, 
it will be a copy of whatever so let's change it to um private stuff and then you at least get the whole layout which like um all the columns the depths and whites and everything and then you just change the filter which is already set to a tag in or project in this case to private and there we go now i have an overview let me make it big again because i need to see me in here um we have an overview sort of like a folder or a filter in Todoist where i can see what type of work i need to do of course you can do this by project you can also do this by uh tag or filter uh let's do the same thing with um what should we do oh yeah things to do the next couple of weeks so um things to do i will create this view which will be more like a next seven days view in todoist if you use this or like a 30 days view in uh, omnifocus so what i will do is let's say i don't want a filter on stuff like um project i want to filter on the categories to do so now i will see everything oh and i need to sort uh it, it is ascending so because i want the latest one on top um this way i could see i can use the category or the or the, uh, the tag in this case to filter out my week and my next couple of action steps and see what else i need to do in the next seven days and the way i would do this with a date it's pretty simple you also go into filter and you not only add the category tag but you also add the date is is within the next uh week what there should be is after oh here it is uh one week from now so let's say i want to say things to do within a week i could pretty much do this filter and have like the exact tasks in there which i need to do within that time frame <laughs> just a minute my, my dog's barking sorry francesco it's just he is barking you should be able to cut it and i can then later on tell you when that is i forget the time it should be around 13 40 minutes so i'll just wait for it cool so i have sorted this through a the categories and the days and you can pretty much go in there and pretty much dial in your to do's and how to do them and my biggest thing to recommend to you is to really think am i more of a person who needs a lot of details in their tasks like how long it's going to take what kind of uh, hardware i need to use or am i really simple like myself i just need an overview of tasks i need to do a system where i can add them and within that system then go from there and get everything done and don't have to go in there each day to really check my task management system but that is up to you now let me go back to my hq and yeah if there's anything else i could help you with or you would get to you will want to know you can always reach out to me on uh let's go let's go with twitter even though i'm not very active on it at joel kylands i will be sure that Francesco will be dropping the uh, Twitter username in there. Um, but that's it for now. I hope you'll have a lot of fun doing your own to-do list in Notion. And if anything comes up, please let me know. See you soon.